Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we had a basic introduction of this create element method. So, how to create an element in the DOM through dynamically, we have seen it. So, uh, normally we have two types of websites like static website and dynamic website. Static website means what I can say is so, whenever you come and visit the website, always the content remains the same. So, there is no dynamically injected data or dynamically updated data you will not able to find. Whenever you, uh, you come to the web application or website, so you will find the same data. So there is nothing change in that one. Whereas the dynamic websites, so it will be having a dynamic nature. So this dynamic nature means uh, how we can get it is one of the method through this is the create element. So create element means that means dynamically inserting the HTML uh, elements. So that one is done through the create element. And also we have already seen about this, how we can find, where we can find this create element. So that is nothing but in the document object. So in the prototypes of HTML document and in the capital document, I have shown you these all things. So now let's try to have a brief introduction about this create element method and let's create a, a element using this create element method. Create element method is used to create an HTML element. So create element method is used to create an HTML element. All we want is to call create element method on the document object. So this create element method is present in the document object as I already shown you and using the document object we call this create element and this create element met uh, method will create an HTML element. So like paragraph h1 uh, div element so like this it will create uh, different types of HTML elements. So the syntax for this document uh, document dot create element is at the top I am writing document dot create element of tag name. So tag name is here it will take one argument that is nothing but tag name tag name is nothing but the html tag names h1 p tag dew strong small so these are all the different types of tags available in the html right so those tag names uh we will give it as an argument we pass html tag name as an argument let's look at how we can create an element in practical so let's see how we can create this element in a practical let's try to see it so here i am i'm opening Chrome browser in an incognito window. So now in order to create an element, what we need to do? So create a, uh, so let new para. I want to create a para is equal to document dot create element, create element of. So I want to give the tag name. The tag name is nothing but paragraph. I'm, I'm trying to create a paragraph, right? So when you press enter, so now paragraph is created. A new paragraph element is created. If you try to do new para, so here the paragraph element is created but it doesn't have any content leave it we'll try to see about this all things now let's see that whether this paragraph has been added into the html dom or not in the dom or not let's see so in order to get this html so what i can do html is equal document dot document element so we can use the document element so you'll get the complete html html the complete html will get it so in this html if you try to open the body and if you see here there is no paragraph in whatever the paragraph I am, I am trying to write it here. So we are not able to find it in the HTML. So if you go into the elements also in the body also in the content. So wherever you see, you are not able to see any paragraph here. One paragraph is there, which is already present. So here we are not able to see the paragraph, which we have created through the document dot create element. So what is happening here? Let's try to see. So if I try to open this one. So in the slideshow. So we have created a new paragraph element, but why it is not showing in the HTML document. So this is the main question what we are having. So we are creating, we have created the HTML doc, uh, paragraph, but it is not showing in the HTML document. The reason is that the paragraph element is lost. Is lost means it is not present in the DOM and it is somewhere in the free space. So it is available in the freely. It is available freely. And we need to tell that DOM and the DOM does not have any idea that it exists. So we need to explicitly tell to the DOM that it exists, but we have created and created an element and we have left it like that. So element is created and it is present. It is lost something like that. But the, the DOM is, but the DOM doesn't have any idea that whether it is existing or not. Somehow we need to communicate with the DOM and we need to attach it to that paragraph element. In order for this element to be a part of the DOM, we need somewhere to put it. Somewhere in the DOM, we need to add it, this node. So this element node, so we, somewhere we need to add it. So in order to for this element to be a part of the DOM. In order to put this HTML element in the DOM, so we need to do the two things. So we have created an element 
and now in order to introduce that one into the DOM, we need to do the two things. What are those two things? First, we need have to we have created a paragraph tag using the create element method to do. First thing is we need is to find an element that will act as a parent for this paragraph. So where you want to insert, so from where you want to insert in the DOM, you need to find the parent element. So we have already learned about the parent, children, siblings, these are concepts we have learned it. So first we need to catch the parent element and we need to attach the paragraph element what we have created as a child to that paragraph element. So first we need to decide where we to which parent this paragraph we need to attach it. The second thing we need to do is we have to add the element want in this case the paragraph to the parent element. So the second thing we need to do is we have to add the element. So we need to attach this element in this case the paragraph to the parent element. So now we the, the first thing is the first thing first we need to create an element second we need to uh, know which parent we are trying to attach it and the third one is we need to attach the created element to this parent as a children usually we do it by using the append child okay so this this is an another method so we'll try to learn about this method also so normally we will do this one by using the append child method so to in order to attach that uh, created element with the dom so that means totally create element by using the create element method so we need to create an element by using create element method find the parent in the dom so find the parent in the dom attach the created element to the parent by using append child method so these are the three steps we need to do it so this is how we will be this is all about the brief introduction of the create element so how to create an element in the html dom so in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to create an element we have created an element and we'll do it in the practical way so we'll do it with an example i will create an html document i will add the create the element and we will attach it to we'll find the parent we'll catch the parent and we will attach it to the uh, dom through the append child method so this is all about this create element thing hope you understood about this create element method if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you